hey, I've got something to share. In this donut box, <laughs> well, there's a funny story behind that. I'll, I'll probably explain one day. So in this box over here, I've got a bunch of TPMS sensors. And I, I dabble in wheels, buy wheels, sell wheels, exchange wheels. I, I just deal with wheels. Uh, usually OEM factory wheels. And when I buy them, sometimes they come with TPMS sensors, sometimes not. If I, if I need to refurbish the wheels before taking them to the powder coater, I usually remove the TPMS sensors. So this discussion might touch on what is the life expectancy of a TPMS sensor. I've seen some discussions online that say seven years is about the max you'd expect to get out of a TPMS sensor, but I've got some TPMS sensors very old, you know, we're lo looking at close to 15 years or something like that. Let me share what I have here. So this this morning i i took all the tpms sensors that i've got i had 44 in total in this box i do have others somewhere else or maybe still on wheels and i took them to a tire shop to get them tested out of the 44 that i had only one sensor was faulty and the way they test that is they just check to see if it still produces a signal and if it does it's halfway good at least it's good the battery is not dead now, does that mean it is uh, perfect? No, that does not guarantee that because it could be alive, but have errors on it, Say, you know, transmit the wrong pressure, but that's something else. First thing is I, I wanted to offer these TPMS sensors for sale and I wanted to at least a minimum, just make sure that I don't send anything with dead batteries. So in these bags, I usually collect and write where, you know, the source, the vehicle that is the source of the TPMS sensors. We're recording this video in 2023, and this here came from a 2006 Infiniti M45. That's a pretty long time. Again, that does not guarantee that this has got another 10 years, but at least we know that by this time, it still works. The other question people usually say, well, the wheels have not been mounted. Are the, you know, are they still going to, are the batteries going to to die or are they good? And the the, argument to that is that they're like a watch it doesn't matter whether you're wearing the watch or not as long as the battery is doing its job it's going to de get depleted i i don't know the answer to that with a certainty but i can tell you this this sensor right here that worked in the 2006 infinity m45 also worked in the 2003 2004 infinity m45 and they used to die more frequently or a little a little sooner in the older models so maybe there is a difference in the way the tpms i know there is there is a difference in the way the tpms uh programming or system was programmed in the 2003 and 4 if you got a tpms sensor you had to go to a shop to program it to the car to work in the 2006 and 7 infinity m35 and m45 as long as i have these tpms sensors and they work right i put them I mount them on a totally different car within 50 miles it's just going to pick up and TPMS is going to work when when you go to 2008 9 10 I'm not certain I'm not really I've only had one 2008 and up I've had so many of the 2006 and 7 Infinity M so at least I can speak with authority on that 2011 and up I know um, the Infinity M's don't work like that you have to take it to a shop to get it programmed 2009 and up Infinity FX anyway you get the point. So I have these from 06 M45. That, that's gotta be the oldest, 2019 370Z. These are the OEM part numbers uh, here. Yep, I wrote it over there as well. Same thing here. Then I have a lot of Nissan GTR TPMS sensors. And I guess I've had enough of the GTR ones to, to see them change in design from the blue guys to green i think green was the older one you know so i've seen quite a variation in in the gtr tpms sensors and then some of them work like the 370z ones for example they work with uh, the infinity m's but it's specific years kind of sorta so what i did is i uh, got all the part numbers that i had in hand and i just went through catalogs trying to verify what years the infinity uh, catalog says that this uh part numbers were compatible with so and you know this part number right here 
for the M45 2006 through 2008, right? Interesting. What about nine and 10? Not really sure about that. And then here, there's this other part number, 40700 JAO1C. That's a 2008 through 10. So there's an interesting overlap over there. Um, then I got some of them when I could get the um, aftermarket part number, I, I wrote it down. For example, the Schrader, Schrader valve. And when it comes to putting air in stuff, Schrader is, is like a big name, you know. They've been doing this stuff for years. Then I've got these over here, the ones that work with 370s, Z's, G's, EX's, and FX's, things like that. So it's it's pretty interesting. The GTR ones can be shared with the G35, overlap to 37, the M's, QX's, you know. So pretty, pretty interesting how that all worked out. And then now taking it back, the, when I went to the shop, I've got so many different ones here. I just told them I got three different cars. I said Nissan GTR, uh, Infinity, um, Nissan GTR, Nissan 370Z, and Infinity M 2007 is what I said. And although I have sensors that I know for sure were not supposed to, were not compatible with the M35, for example, I know their tool, the scan tool that they had was able to pick it up. So the, the entire scan tool needs the input of the year making model for them to test it. They can't just scan um, uh, TPMS and say, yeah, that's good. So yeah, we were there scanning for a little bit of time and I, I really appreciate it. I respect the relationship we've got with the tire shops around here. You, you kind of have to have a relationship when you're in the tire and wheel business. And this is the only one that came out bad. This one came with a wheel, with a set of wheels. This one, among four, uh, three others, came on a set of wheels that I bought. There were Nissan GTR wheels, but they were being used on an Infinity M. So, thankfully, I guess I have these marked as 370Z uh, TPMS sensors, and I ended up with one extra one. So, here, it's a mismatch, but you wouldn't know it once you have a mounted um, on the wheels. The other thing is that these metal or these man, OEM style TPMS sensors have changed quite a little bit, right? See these square bodied metal uh, metal stem. Then you have, these are aftermarket, so that's probably not a good one to look at. This one here, it's a, you know, oval body metal stem. And I thought I saw, yeah, I'm trying to look for it. Is this it? Maybe this is where they unscrew it. But some aftermarket ones come with very clear, very distinct places where you can just, it looks like you can detach the stem from the from the body quite pretty simply. Yeah, I don't have any of those. I guess these are screwed in various ways, but all in all, those are screwed in. So that's better than this, I'd say. You know, that's already better than this because this looks like you committed here. Can't really do much about the stem. At least with these, you can unscrew that and separate it. And then, as I said, some aftermarket ones look like they swivel on the on the inside. So, yeah, I think, and do I not have any of those? I suppose not, I suppose not. I thought I had some, but what I was gonna say is that when it comes to metal stems or what they call metal stems, sometimes the issue with the older ones, it's not so much that the battery is dead. Sometimes this design here, as you can see, you can't really do much about separating the, the body from the stem. If you have corrosion on your wheel and aluminum does corrode as well, right? And this corrodes onto the wheel, you're kind of out of luck because I've seen them where they just have to yank this out, then cut the stem out and you have to buy brand new TPMS sensors. And I think this is what happened to my 2008 Infinity M. Here it is, here it is. So here, these two are factory, this one here and this one here, but then these are, uh, these are aftermarket right here. You know, and you can see the numbers and all that stuff. I, I did not, yeah, this is a ready sensor, but point I'm trying to make is that here, there you go. This is what I was looking for. The release. See, no screws to mess with over here. This one kind of pushes out differently. Yeah, I'm glad I found this one. So with this one here, 
I'm guessing what happened, as it's happened to me in the past, is that when you try to change wheels and you're trying to move your TPMS sensors over, you end up, if they're corroded onto the wheel and they can't save them, you just have to go ahead and just buy new TPMS sensors. So that's sometimes what happens. Otherwise, they do have kits where you can redo the seals if it's just a matter of the seal itself. If the corrosion is so bad that replacing the seal is not going to help at all, then that's when they make the call. Let's just go ahead and buy brand new, you know? So to circle back, what does this mean for the self-programming TPMS systems like the 2006 through 2010 Infinity M's? It means that you have the freedom to have TPMS, a working TPMS system all year round. Or some people switch wheels for winter and summer. Some people do it, you know, for whatever reason. But I've seen it happen whereby instead of taking your car to get programmed every single time for like the Infinity M's, for example, some people say, what I'm going to do is have TPMS sensors working in the summer, in the winter, just basically drive around risking it or vice versa. Some people would rather have the TPMS readings in the winter and then in the summer, they just use manual tire gauges. And then for the other time that they don't have TPMS programmed because it costs money eventually you know unless like you have a friendly discount tire um you just drive around with the tpms horseshoe on over there in your gauge cluster for the 2006 through 2010 infinity m's you don't have to do that as long as you get another set of tpms sensors install them in your spare or your second third set of wheels every time you inst you put them on you mount them onto the car drive for a little while and your TPMS system is going to be working. So that is the advantage. Um, well, there's no other way to end this video except to say, hey, I'll be selling TPMS sensors. So reach out to me if you want them.